How's it going everyone? In this video I'll show you how to edit videos in Canva. This will work on a free version of Canva on a desktop. This video is for anyone who needs to make short videos or ads for social media. So if you run a small business or do online marketing then this tutorial is for you. Let's get straight into it. This is an outline of what I'll go through in this tutorial. I've structured it in chronological order so I can walk you through editing a video from start to finish. Firstly, let's talk about choosing video sizes. On the homepage, type in video to bring up a list of suggested video sizes. When you hover over one of the suggestions, it will show you the video sizes in pixels. You can select any of these depending on what size video you want. One thing to note here is you can create a video from any of the Canva templates and export it as an MP4 to create the video. If you select one of the suggested video sizes, for example this one which is 1920 by 1080, you will get a horizontal timeline along the bottom. If you select another design template, for example an Instagram post, you will not get the timeline on the bottom. However, you can still create a video from this template. When you add new pages, they appear one on top of the other. The way Canva video works is you place videos, pictures or animations on a page and you can add as many pages as you want and they will play one after the other to create a video. There are no transitions between pages yet, so it's just a hard cut from one page to another. This may change in the future as Canva are constantly updating their features. So let's add our first video. I'll create a blank video 1920 by 1080. From here you can apply any of these pre-made templates. You can add stock footage from the videos tab. Canva has a huge range of free to use stock videos. Use the search box to find one you want and just click and drag it onto the page. You can then resize or crop them and place them anywhere on the page. Now, if you want to add your own videos, click on the uploads tab and add in any video you want. If it's a long video, you'll have to wait for it to finish processing before you can export it. However, you will still be able to edit it on the page. You can play the video by clicking the play button on the video itself. To preview the entire video project, click the play button in the top menu. It will also show you the total length of the project. So the length of all the pages and clips added together. What I'll do is add in a stock video. If one video clip is too long, you can trim it by selecting the video then clicking the scissors button in the menu. It will show you the length of that individual clip. Once selected, click and drag the handles on the end to adjust the start time and the end times. You can then click and drag that selection to another part of the video. The time on the left shows the length of your selection. When you click on the handle, a time appears on the bottom corresponding to the relative time in the entire clip. This is useful when you want to cut multiple clips together. For example, if you want to have one video playing but different text showing up throughout that video. I'll show you how to do that shortly. Firstly, let's add some text. Simply click the text tab on the left and drag in a style you like. Alternatively, you could press the keyboard shortcut T to generate a text element. You can then resize it, add a different font or change the color. I'll also just add a lift effect to make it stand out from the background. In order to apply an animation, click on the animate button and select these pre-made animations. You have block, fade, pan, rise, tumble and more in a pro version. Block is the only animation that applies to the text only. The rest of the animations apply to all the elements on the page, whether it's text, stickers, 
or graphics that you add to that particular design. So every element will have the same animation. At the moment, you can only apply one animation to the entire page. If I add some elements and select rise, it applies to all the elements on the page. I'll just add in these two graphics of boats and add them on the ocean. Then I'll click on the animate button again and click rise. As you can see, it rises out of the ocean or tumble and tumble gives it the tumble effect. You can see when I click block, only the text is affected. The boats do not change. So let me now show you how to cut clips together. I have this video and it's 57 seconds long. If you add text, it will play throughout the whole video. So in order to get different text on the same video, we need to cut the video up. I'll duplicate the video and select the first clip in the timeline. You need to hover over the first clip, then click the three dots in the top right hand corner then click duplicate. Now I only want to show the text for the first three seconds and then change the text. So I'll trim the clip to 0.3 seconds, 0 to 3 seconds I should say. Now to pick up where I left off, I need to trim the next clip to start at three seconds. So select the second clip, click the scissors and drag the start time to 3.1 seconds where the end of the first clip finished. You can see the time of the clip appear underneath the handle when you click and drag it, which is why I mentioned that earlier. I'll also add different text to this clip. Now, if we preview the video, we can see the same video, but with different text appearing. It won't be perfect because we can only select the time to one tenth of a second. So there will be a missing 0.1 seconds, which hopefully will not be noticeable to the human eye. What I'll do is just delete these animations for now, just to um, make the design more focused. Now I can add another page on the end by clicking this plus sign. The last page on this video is blank, but you can add text, animations or graphic elements. If there is no video on a page, you can adjust the length of this clip by clicking the timer button at the top. New pages automatically default to 5 seconds, however you can adjust it up to 30 seconds. This only appears when you select a page without a video in it. When you do add a video, the menu will change and the length of the clip will be set to the length of the embedded video. So the video time overrides the page time. So as you can see, the clip is 16.6 .6 seconds and it will change depending on the length of the clip I put on the page. Okay, I use clip and page interchangeably throughout this video, but hopefully you understand what I'm referring to. Basically, they're kind of like different scenes but because we're using Canva, they're called pages. If you use a traditional video editor, you can call them clips. I might say video for the entire video, but hopefully you're following along with me so far. In summary, you can apply one animation to the entire page. If you want to have different text, you need to add new pages. You can adjust the length of each page from 0 to 30 seconds, unless you have a video on it and the page will automatically change to the length of the video. You can then trim that video and make a selection on that video. Are you guys with me so far? Now, let's add some background music. You can upload your own audio using the Uploads tab or you can select a song from Canva's music library. Either way, just drag it onto your design to add it. Note, you can only add one track per project. You can't add multiple tracks yet, so one track will play throughout the entire project and all your clips. The audio will appear in this button on the bottom. Once you click on it, you can adjust the selection or change the volume. The length of the audio will match the length of the entire video. 
so you can't trim the audio on its own you can only change the selection of the audio again just preview it with the play button so that looks good we now have videos and elements and text on pages and we also have music now let's add some animated elements to make it look better if you click on the elements tab you can find a wide selection of pre-made graphic elements thousands in fact for example you can search for subscribe animation or sale animation and get a range of eye-catching elements these elements will just play on a loop and you can apply page specific animations on top so if the page has a fade animation this object would fade in and just continue its own specific animation another cool feature you can do with canva video is add videos inside a phone tablet or laptop click on elements then frames frames are essentially placeholders where you can add images or videos within them you can recognize them because they have this green and blue landscaped background if you scroll down they have frames for various devices just click and drag them onto the page once added to the page you can resize them or click and drag them to refine the position then you can simply drag a video into them if you double click the video you can adjust the view and resize it if you wish click enter to save that selection now when you preview the video all the videos will play at once you probably wouldn't have three different frames on one page i'm just showing you an example however you could have one to show off your website or product they also have different shapes of frames or even letters so you can play around and create different effects i've created this uh, sale effect if i add in the letters individually you can now add a video to each letter now if you want to make it look like a mask where there's one video behind all of the letters then you have to add the same video behind each letter individually and then reposition the video within that letter so it looks like it's one video this is effectively a masking technique but i'm sure you can come up with your own ideas better than this uh, this is just one thing that you can do with it once you've finished your video just click download video and download to get an mp4 version of your video you can also download a gif if you want or you can get a png if you want to download pages individually they won't be animated and the videos won't play there you go that's the gist of editing video in canva Drop any questions in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video useful. Also, hit that notifications bell and I'll see you in the next one.